in this tutorial we will create one sheet metal object based on what we learned in previous tutorials we will be creating this object click on new part ok if your sheet metal ribbon bar is not visible right click on any one tab and select sheet metal it will show the sheet metal toolbar to create this object at first we will have to create this base flange of 120 by 120 1 mm thickness and bend radius is 1 click on base flange select top plane select the center rectangle create one rectangle from center give the dimension of 120 by 120 then ok then give the thickness of 1 enter then we will use k factor as 0 0.5 and auto relief as rectangular then click on ok then select the sheet metal and click on edit feature and here the bend radius is 1 ok then next will be to create these 3 edge flanges of 50 heights click on edge flange select the 3 edges give the side and point and same way from this side also then give the height of 50 now here height is given from the bottom surface therefore here we will select this option outer virtual sharp that is from the bottom surface and we will take the gap of 1 we don't want to increase the dimension of the object therefore we will select this option material inside and we will select this trim side bends then click on ok then next will be to create this hem for hem dimension is radius 2 this angle is 90 that is angle from this side will be 27 create hem on this side click on this hem then select this internal edge then reverse the direction from here then the radius is 2 and angle is 270 and it is of roll type and click on ok then next is this mitre flange the mitre flange length is 10 here and it is starting at a distance of 20 from top surface and it is ending at 10 distance from this vertical surface and the gap between the mitre flange is 0.25 click on the mitre flange then click near this point on this vertical line then click on this normal to and create one line from that point then give the smart dimension give the length of 10 enter then ok then orbit it then propagate it now we don't want to create mitre flange on this line and this arc click on this edge and right click and delete it again this edge right click and delete it and again we don't want this arc also select this edge right click and delete it then we need material inside and the gap is 0.25 offset from start is 20 give here 20 and the end offset is 10 enter and click on ok then next will be to create this base flange tab the parameter for base flange tab is from this edge it is at a distance of 10 and the dimensions are given here click on this base flange tab select this surface make it normal to create one rectangle corner rectangle select the first point give the second point then create one circle from midpoint to the end point then trim entities select trim to closest and remove unwanted edges yes then give the dimensions smart dimension give here dimension of 10 then the height is 25 height of this line is 25 
then this gap is 10 select this vertical line this line and give the gap of 10 and click on ok orbit it and click on ok then next will be this portion here for this the dimensions are the gap is 25 and other dimensions are like this again select base flange select this surface make it normal to click on normal to create one corner rectangle and circle then trim it give the dimensions here it is 10 and this height is 40 and this gap is 25 okay then okay then next is there is this sketch bend is created click on this sketch bend select this surface then create one line from this point to this point then give the smart dimension from this line to this line is 10 then ok then give the angle here angle is 45 degree give the angle of 45 and keep the material inside then give the fixed face this face is fixed and click on ok next is here is a jog is there for this atom the parameters for jog are here jog offset is 5 from outside of this surface to outside of this surface and angle is 45 degree click on this jog select this surface jog line it is at a height of 10 make it normal to and create one line for jog in the smart dimension from this line to this line 10 click on ok then give the fixed surface this one then give the distance of 5 enter from this surface to external surface that is this option we want to keep the length same therefore we will select this fixed projection length so that it will match with the previous length then click on ok the next will be to put this lower at a distance of 20 from horizontal surface and 60 from vertical surface make it vertical then click on this design library select the design library then select forming tool double click on it then select lures double click on lures then drag the lures and place it now we want it from outside flip it to give the dimensions click on this position and give the parameter smart dimension from this line to this point is 20 enter then next will be from this line to this center point will be 60 enter and click on ok and ok then there is a pattern of the lures there are total 5 lures select the lures then click on these features select the linear pattern then give the direction this line then give number of atoms 5 are there and gap between two lures is 20 give the gap of 20 enter click on ok then what is remained is here if we view this object at this corner there is overlapping for that we will have to use the close corner click on the sheet metal click on these corners and click on this close corner now it is on this side then select this surface then we want to underlap this surface click on this underlap and the gap is 0 0.1 0 0.1 is there then ratio is 1 because it is covering completely and click on ok then next will be here circular shape corner trim is applied of radius 3 for that flatten the part then select this corner corner trim then select this line and this line and give the radius of 3 enter 
and click on OK. The next is to create this slot. To apply this slot, we will have to unfold these bends. Click on unfold, select fix face, this one. Then bend to unfold is this one and this one. Then OK. And click on extrude cut, select this surface and create one slot. Straight slot from this point to this point. Then give the radius point and escape. Then select this circle, control this external arc and make it concentric. Then for slot height is 35 and radius is 5. Give the diameter of 10 and the height is 35. Enter and click on OK. Then click on this link to thickness. OK. Then we will have to fold it back. Click on this fold then select this bends. Then click on OK. That's all. Thanks for watching. We will stop here.